Custom post types are typically added to a WordPress website to complement posts and pages. They give you more flexibility and the ability to deliver a much more complex content management system inside WordPress. In short, you'll set up a custom post type and add extra fields to it so that the post looks different from standard posts and pages. It's possible to create a custom post type using PHP and slightly more complex approaches. However, an easy solution is to use a plugin. And of course, setting up a custom post type can be done for various different purposes. You might want a custom post type to show projects on your website, portfolio pages, maybe a job page for job vacancies, events, or perhaps testimonials. And many websites obviously utilize a custom post type to show an e-commerce or product page. And this is the most popular reason for having a custom post type. So which plugin would I suggest you use when installing a custom post type on your website? Well, that plugin is custom post type UI. And this plugin gives you the opportunity to not only create the custom post types, but also the taxonomies that are going to be associated with that post type. And therefore taxonomies are categories or ways in which you want to split up your posts into groups. Once you've got the plugin installed, you'll find it on the left hand side of WordPress. So hover over CPT UI and then click on add edit post types. You'll be presented with a screen that looks something very similar to this with lots of fields that you need to add data in, including post type slug, plural label and singular label. The best advice I can give you is to follow the EG information underneath each field. So if it was going to be a post about movies, you'd simply have movie in this field here. The plural would be movies and so on. If you're unsure of exactly what you need to put in each field, you can click on the blue question mark and some more information will be provided to help you fill in the field. Once you've filled in all the fields, as you scroll down this page, and there are plenty of different options with the custom post type UI plugin. You can then scroll back up to the top and click on add post type. Now to show you what all of these fields will look like once they've been completed, I've already added a post type to this website. So let's take a look at exactly what the fields will look like. So if you scroll down this particular custom post type, you'll notice that it's called our projects. And this custom post type will enable you to add projects on the website. So for example, let's say this website is for a construction company. You may want to have pages which show individual projects on the website. Therefore, you'd call the custom post type projects. And then you'd build some particular fields that are going to be associated with this custom post type and list specific information on the front end of the site for each project. So if you scroll down, you'll notice that many of the fields are very similar to the EG information underneath each field, and it's very simply filled in. You may have things like add new project instead of add new movie, edit, edit project, and so on. If you scroll down, you'll see there's plenty of other options that need to be checked. Many of the standard options in custom post up UI are fine. One particular option that you may need to pay attention to is the ability to add an image which will be associated with the menu on the left hand side. So where you'll see the custom post type, our projects on the left, you'll see there's a P in red. And this is an icon that will be associated with the custom post type. It's a good idea to have an icon so that it stands out in the dashboard and it isn't exactly the same as the other items in the menu. To add this P to the custom post type as shown here in red, you can create an icon using Illustrator and set the image to 16 pixels by 16 pixels, upload the image to your media library and then find the URL for that image and paste in the information in this field here. The other crucial information that you do need to have set up for custom post types is the standard fields that you'll find with posts and pages. Now, typically I would add the title and the featured image for most custom post types because you will have a title for the post 
and you may need a featured image which can be used in grids and other indexes for all of your projects that you want to show on a particular page. You may add other fields that are appropriate for the custom post type by checking, let's say, excerpt, comments, and you may want to show the author on the particular post type as well. But in this example, we're going to remove excerpt, comments, and author. And then once you've added all of the information for the custom post type, you can scroll up and then click on save post type. If you're editing the information, of course, add post type once you've added all the details. Once the post type is in place, you can hover over our projects or whatever the custom post type is called and then click on add new. You'll then be presented with a screen that looks something very similar to this. Now this is dependent on which of the fields you've chosen at the bottom here to display on your post type. So remember we've chosen title and featured image. And as you'll notice, you'll only see the title for the new project and featured image on the right hand side. So it's a very minimal custom post type at this stage. Typically with any custom post type, you'll want to add more fields to the post than you'll currently see here. Now this is obviously dependent on the complexity of the posts. For a project page, you may have anything from five to 10 extra fields that will be displayed on this post. To add fields, you'll utilize another plugin and we will go through the process of adding fields in a subsequent video. However, before you add any more fields, it is necessary to add taxonomies or if you like categories, that will be associated with the projects on this website. And of course, if you're developing a different custom post type like movies, you'll have taxonomies like actors or genres or different kinds of categories that will be associated with the custom post type.